Hello and welcome to another PingCast. Today we're going to be taking a look at Descent OS, which is based on... It's a it's an Ubuntu derivative, but it's based on Triskel and... Um, oh, what's the third one there? Um, I actually don't remember. I'll have to take a quick look. Actually, take a quick look. Never mind, it loaded. Okay. Let's see, what is it based off of? Oh, Elementary OS. Uh, the guy who develops this, the uh, lead developer, he uh, is actually a friend of my brother. They went to high school together, and he actually went to high school with me uh, before I graduated, but uh, I, I didn't actually run into him. But uh, I, I've talked with him. He's a fellow Linux user. We got talking and he told me about his uh, OS that he was developing and I just had to give it a look. So, now I'm going to do this in VirtualBox. And as I said, it's an Ubuntu derivative. I think he uses Ubuntu as the base. Uh, he might be moving it over to Slackware as the base. Alright, so we boot the live uh, disk. Now, it has the Ubuntu Splash, but unlike a lot of other people, when they do their derivatives, he actually changed it. When it boots up, it says to send OS. They, he actually changed the Splash, which I thought was pretty neat. He actually took the time to change it. switch to full screen here, and here's the Descent OS desktop. As we can see, we have Natty right here. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Hopefully it should install. I'm not going to bother, uh, you can kick download updates while installing and installing, install third-party software, which is flash job, all that. I'm not going to for time's sake, but I recommend you do that. Uh, I'm going to erase install Descent OS. Uh, this will wipe out the hard disk and absolutely everything on it, and then install the operating system on it. I have nothing on this hard disk, so nothing will be deleted. Something else will allow you to manually partition, but I'm not going to bother. Install now. Alright, here we have the uh, login manager. Change the wallpaper on this. We got the Descent OS background, we got our host name right here. The login is Pingcasts. Although, uh, I don't know if it's uh, possible. It would be nice to have like an image right here or something. I think this box could look a bit better, but the wallpaper is nice. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. This happened to me when I tried it. There's Gwake when I tried uh, this in VirtualBox the other night. Here we have the Triskel icon now, the uh, and some bits and bobs showing this is lost color. I think this bar got a bit bigger, but yeah. The theme's gone from the menu, and it was a pretty nice looking thing. I think this is in release 2.0, but I don't know if I'd consider this even a 1.0 release. Uh, but, uh, anyways, on with the review. Here we have our desktop. Yeah, let's get this virtual box thing to buzz off. Yeah. 
Go away. Okay, here we go. Uh, we have Docky right here. You pin guy users will definitely be familiar with that, but here we have it on the side. Uh, and a trash can. I don't know why that's there. We are we have a panel, so I I don't know why we need it, but it's there. I guess add some bling to the desktop. Uh, uh, Docky is definitely aesthetically pleasing, so it definitely add a a look to the desktop. And here we have apps right here. If you click on it, it uses slingshot, which it, it minimizes everything, and then it brings up this menu, and you can categorize it. It's kind of like the GNOME 3 menu. Uh, I don't like that it minimizes everything. It's annoying to have to un you know undo it, and uh, uh, if you have Conky on, it'll minimize that. I I don't like that. That's not the fault of de of Descent OS, that's Slingshot's fault. Uh, I don't know why they had it minimize that, but they do. Uh, if you like it, then that's great. So, hmm, I wonder if I do it for if I want to look at that through here or here. I think I'll look it through Triskel or the uh, Triskel. Ah, uh, it's the icon that got me confused. Alright, I'll look at it through the menu. See here, under in internet we have Pigeon. Now Pigeon is a, an, an instant messaging client. I use it. It's very good. Uh, you, you click add, you add an account, you have all of these that you can add. You can add multiple accounts and you can now have everything all in one window. You can get your MSN going through that if you want to use it on Linux. Um, I wonder if they... I wonder if he has Finch. Ah, he doesn't have Finch. Finch is just a text-based version of Pigeon. Might be good if you're on a lower powered machine to use Finch instead of save on resources. Let's see, we have Chromium as our web browser. Ah, oh, it's changing. It, it, it used to, um, in the Winds in the Live ISO, it'll have these two. It'll actually go up, down, up, down, up, down, uh, with your with your uh, applications that are running. So basically you'd have two in this one area and then two here uh, when you're running things. So I, I guess it's uh, it's got some work to do because the theme's inconsistent. Uh, the way things are displayed here has changed. Anyways, uh, where was I? Office Clause, that's uh, like, um, what was, what was that, Thunderbird? Close that, close that, and close that. Where am I? Okay, Descent OS Forums, I actually like that. It can take you straight to the forums. Oh, why not have it as default? Probably should be, since this is the only web browser we have installed. Uh, online forums, and under internet we also have which a Dropbox installer. Uh, for those who don't know, it's cloud storage. It syncs files and folders within the Dropbox folder between all your Dropbox machines. Alright, here we have Quiver, which is a social client. It's like Pigeon, but it's for... Uh, it's for I think it's integrated with GNOME. I don't know why we need two instant messengers, but we have two. A BitTorrent client, that's for torrenting. I accept. Basically it's saying don't pirate bad, don't pirate stuff. But I bet you guys are going to do that anyways. And here under Office we have LibreOffice. For your office needs, under Graphics we have GIMP, which is 
like Photoshop, we have Shotwell for organizing and looking at photos. Here we have, under Sendu, we have Exhale, which is a music player. And you can listen to the radio through uh, saved radio stations. You can add some radio stations and you can listen to live music through that on the radio. Uh, I believe Linux Mint at one point used that. I think I remember using that at one point on Linux Mint. Here we have PitV, which is a video editor. Uh, I've been... I've used OpenShot a few times. I'm no multimedia expert, though. I definitely would love to learn. Okay. So, we have... Uh, where are we? We have Sound Recorder. VLC for playing videos. I like VLC. That's my favorite video player, and under games we have Mahjong and Mines under accessories. We have Bracero for burning discs. There's Docky. We have Quake, which you saw launch. It's, it's a drop-down terminal. It's F bound to F12 by default. And, yeah, it's a drop-down terminal. Quick access to the command line. Uh, you can take a screenshot. And we have terminal, which is the command line. And we have text editor, which is gedit. And we have our places. And under system, all the known preferences, administration. Yep. And that's about it. Uh, I've used this uh, last night. This really isn't my cup of tea. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys like this. Uh, let me know in the comments. To be honest, I think uh, docky is a bit much. Having a docky right here and then a panel right here. As you, as you saw, when I boot up, we had the Descent OS icon right here. Now it's not there. I mentioned um, it kind of went two by two over here with your applications. And it's not the same here. I think I'll add a little snip at the end to show you what I'm talking about. I'll just boot into a live ISO. And... Uh, yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. Of course, I prefer GNOME 3 over GNOME 2. A lot of people have shown their disdain for it, but I like it. I like the interface, and I just think it's awesome. I think it, I still think that it has some maturing to do as a desktop, but I like it even in its current state. I liked it when it came out, and that's just what I like to use. And if I'm not using that, I like using either OpenBox or LXDE, so GNOME 2, I mean, I like it, but it's not at the top of my list anymore. When I first started using Linux, I was just like, yeah, GNOME 2, man. And I still think it's an awesome desktop, but again, it's not on my top list of environments anymore. But it's definitely what I like and what I would recommend to new users, and I'm sad to see it. GNOME 2 sort of not be discontinued anymore. And I really hope that there's a fork of it, that there can be a fork of it that can continue in the future so that everybody can have that GNOME 2 experience. And that's it for this episode, and I hope you really enjoyed this look at Descent OS. We took a quick look at the operating system, and I gave my thoughts on it. Stay tuned for another pincast. I'll add a little snippet in there, like I said. Stay tuned for another one. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. Let's take some apps. Hmm, well, that is kind of fast getting all the applications up here. I think I'm, I could, like, 
slingshot if it doesn't minimize everything. Anyways, let's get some apps. So we got two terminals, and see this 2x2? Two two? We have uh, terminal 1 on top, terminal 2 on bottom. Let's open something else. Yeah, it would be pretty nice if it didn't minimize everything. Exhale. Oh. Actually, see, we have Exhale right here. Now let's open something else. Uh, GIMP. Where'd Exhale go? There we go. Here we have GIMP. Yeah, I don't know why that went away, but it did. I also want to show the uh, menu thing. As you can see, it's got this nice black right here, but for some reason it's gone when it installs. I don't know why that is.